<laughs> it's the lion's mighty roar. Hi guys, so these are our lions. Look at these two guys. They're really like me. They have a trouble looking at it. They're so cute. They're so cute. The other one's Where'd you go? Yeah, but they're, they're, these two are old. I, I don't know. They're much smaller though. They really are. Oh, they're, they're fed by with a bottle. Training right now. <laughs> yeah, like they want to play, and they're just. Yes. Big man. Big man. Big man. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, is that what they got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of he gets extra food. <laughs> Crying through the rock. <laughs> I can bite through the metal. I really like his pants. At least they have paint on them, so if they do get a whole through them. I've never seen anything like that. I'm so glad we came when we did. Is the plan to keep them here at Six Flags for their whole lives, or we don't know what will happen? For now, we're going to keep them. I mean, there, there's five of them. We're going to work on uh, introducing them to one another. This is part of the process. There's always a possibility that they could send them to another facility to keep the gene pool diverse. Um, and given the new endangered species status of African lions, it's always good to send out fresh genes to other facilities. Okay. Um, for right now, we plan on, on keeping them here and mixing them. Um, it could change in a couple years. It could not. So it's, it's hard to say. But as of now, we plan on Milano. Okay. But again, if they get if their endangered status changes again to a more graver uh, status, then who knows? Right? So. <laughs> <laughs> she likes that spot on her pants. Yeah, you're right about the claws, that monster. It's like, oh, that's done. When do they get to start to eat meat? Um, so we slowly introduce them to uh, their red meat diet. They're, they're getting a kind of like a wet cat food, an exotic cat food right now. And usually by the time they're about uh, four months is when we start to introduce the red meat. Right? You have to blend it all in the milk that they drink so they get the flavor for it. Okay. Mom, can you ask when, when do they get introduced to water? Well, they have water. No, like, to swim. Because I saw a lot of students. You know how to interact with them when they're right? And at this stage, they're not, they're not strong enough to tear yet. At what point do you have to step up away from uh, Are they grumbling with each other? Yeah. Over the bowl. They're, they're like, there's two bowls in there, but they both want the same one, of course. It's just like kids. <laughs> two empty bowls in there, but you know what? Let's just fight over the same one. Rather risk their lives for three to six than just one. Right? 